Where have you been? <laughs> I've been a pee. It was absolutely pouring down. <laughs> it's horrible. Pitch black. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. And if you haven't already guessed, then some wild camping will feature. However, exactly where, we don't yet know. Because our only confirmed location where we're heading to now is Peterhead Prison Museum, which is on the northeast tip of Aberdeenshire. So we'll see you there. So we've arrived at Peterhead Prison, which is a Victorian prison and it operated between 1888 and 2013 and was once known as Scotland's toughest prison. So let's go and check it out. So this here would have been your cell, complete with your candle holder, shaving facilities, your hammock and Bible. So in the 1920s, this cell here was a step towards modernisation where they got their own bed, some home comforts. However, the introduction of the bed reduced their cell space. So this cell here it was the era of a dirty protest which happened on the back of events that happened in Northern Ireland in the 70s where there was a lot of terror related incidents and the inmates used to defecate and urinate in their cell. started off with a fight between a prison officer and an inmate. It became known as the siege and the whole prison erupted in chaos and ultimately ended up after a period of days in the Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, sanctioning the SES to effect a rescue. Red, which was seen of one of the most brutal murders that occurred within the prison. Of course, that's not the real blood, however, you do get the, the picture of how brutal and bloody it must have been in this small cell. And in this here where I am now was the main prison hall where the prisoners congregated, had their entertainment, played the piano, sit down for a game of cards, play some pool table tennis, and of course, have the odd fight. So because the cells in the prison didn't have flushing toilets, 80 prisoners had to make use of this toilet shower room. What they would do in the meantime is use the pots within their cells to do the toilet.
there is as a form of punishment for the inmates who would be whipped with the leather straps. So in this room here is where the prisoners, prisoners would arrive and be booked in, their fingerprints taken, photograph, their demeanour noted, and they would be allocated their prison clothing and ultimately their cell or home for the next however many months or years that they had to serve within this gruesome prison. So after corporal punishment was done away with, prisoners would be punished in another way. And they would come to this room, the governor's officers, to determine their fate, which would likely be a spell in the segregation unit. outside and we're now in the exercise pen which you can see the prisoners have clearly drawn goals onto the wall where they must have played football one would imagine. So this cell here was known as the silent cell where prisoners could spend up to days or weeks or months at a time and it was known as the cell within a cell. So it was essentially a concrete block within a concrete block. So no amount of any shouting, screaming or banging would attract anyone's attention because no dude would hear it. And of course they had no lights, no run water, no nothing. This part of the prison was reserved for one prisoner for 22 years because he was that dangerous to society. And he spent his time polishing the floors, writing about the history of the prison and making kids toys. Currently trying to find somewhere to camp for the night. I'll just check the map and see anywhere near Fraser, but a uh, Aberdour Beach or Aberdour Bay. Do you want to try and go there? Yeah, why don't we just head? We should try if it's only like 16 minutes away. Yeah. Yeah. Just do that. Cool. So what do you want to do? We yeah, have it there for Oh, sorry, you're filming then. See? Well, this could be an option. Oh, it's like putting the pegs in the sand, but uh -huh. what about this bit here? I don't know if it's a bit long. <laughs> well, maybe the adders might get us. <laughs> yeah, I think this spot. <laughs> What are you doing? Well, we've uh, made a wee bit of a muck up. Well, that's the tent up. It's only taken us... Um, hour and a half. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> I think in good time though, because look. So we're finally in the tent. Just got up and then it started Pour in the rain. So we've got the cooking on. So in all the melee er earlier and getting set up, I forgot to mention that. Highly recommended that you go to Peterhead Prison. It's 
fascinating to learn about the history of all, given it was a Victorian prison built in 1888 and was still operational until 2013, including some of the punishment methods, the size of the cells, the siege that took place in the 80s. It was pretty fascinating, eh? Yeah, it was really interesting. So it's definitely worth a visit if you're up in Aberdeenshire, Peterhead. <laughs>